Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the channel. Today, we are going to be going over our Mount Rushmore of supporting Mario characters. All right, we are each going to give our own Mount Rushmore, explain why they are on the Mount Rushmore, and then you in the comments need to vote whose Mount Rushmore is better. We're starting off with my Mount Rushmore. Let's get right into it. First up is the man, the myth, the legend, Toadsworth. He is Peach's right-hand man, and he embodies Theodore Roosevelt, who is on Mount Rushmore himself. That mustache. Look at those glasses. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Right there embodies Theodore Roosevelt. Let's also talk about how he's a jack of all trades. Toadsworth is a host of Mario Party on a cruise. He's a he's a five tool player in baseball. All right. He hosts the racing ceremonies in Mario Kart Double Dash. He's I've a gentleman. Of, he's he, a gentleman. A lot of you didn't even know that. And then get this, dude. He is the umpire in Mario Tennis. And he's going to be calling all the faults, so you better watch out. And and let's talk about how he is the smartest in the MCU. And we're not talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're talking about the Mario Cinematic Universe. All Let's right? go, dude. Coming soon, coming soon. Dude, yeah, exactly. Coming soon. One of the smartest out there. Toadsworth is the true leader of my so Mount good. Rushmore. And here's a little clip for you that just really embodies Toadsworth. <laughs> look at that. Dude, just take a look at this. Look oh, at no. Oh no! No! Oh my oh, God, dude! Whoa! That's overwhelming. Oh. <laughs> Look at how wide his dome is. Whoa! That's a wide dome. Dude, in that right there, that right there, if that didn't give you enough info on why Toadsworth is on my Mount Rushmore, I don't know what will. Up next, Monty Mole. He is the most adorable character out there, and, and truly one of the hardest working. All right, out of all these characters that we could have picked from, let's not even talk about how in Mario Superstar Baseball, when this man, when this mole grabs that baseball, he's zooming around the diamond like the flash, all right? You, you, you blink, and he, he's he's already in the outfield, all right? This man this man runs a sub, you know, 4-4, four, four, all right? He's zooming. He's faster than Usain Bolt, all right? He's got those tiny little flippers, dude, but they do some work. Exactly. And, you know, he, he truly is a mole of many names. I'm just going to list off a, a few of the names I have for him right here, all right? We got One Tooth Wonder. We got Monty. And we got, as I say, when Monty Mole, you know, gets a hit, when he does something productive, Monty Mole is good as gold. It's that simple. Monty Mole is good as gold. Dude, let's see this little clip, dude. That really yeah. exemplifies Monty. Yeah, dude, this one, yeah. Ready? This really yeah. shows off Monty well. Okay, Monty's up to his own tomfoolery. Oh, ultimate tomfoolery going on here. And, and, Look at and that. It's that simple. That's Monty. It's Mole that simple. Like, it's that simple. Like that's what it's all about. Exactly. Up, no, up next is Goomba. All right, dude. Look at this grimace. Just look at this Goomba's face. All right. He My is gosh, the, dude. The underbite. He he is one of the most menacing characters you'll ever see. And as we talk about Goomba here, we're gonna play this video. And you may be asking why? Because Goomba serves his role perfectly. An incredible role player. He what whatever he's asked in video games, he will do. And if that's gonna be you know one of the basic enemies that you have to fight, and he's gonna get stomped on by Mario twenty four seven, that's what has to be done. But he's, a, he's a team player, dude. He's a team player. Exactly. But let's not forget that he is one of the greatest pitchers you'll ever see, okay? We're talking prime Randy Johnson, all right? That's what we're talking about out here with Goomba. He's got nice control over the ball, dude, with no arms. Exactly. And don't forget, he does everything with no hands, looking like Waka Flocka out there. You can go— Yes, you can, sir. Dude, this, this man's jam every time before he before he takes the mound. He's listening to no hands, all right? And he's we know he's ten times better than Paragoomba. The fact that he is so much better than Paragoomba, who has literal wings, I mean, it speaks for himself. Shout out to Goomba number three on my Mount Rushmore. Goomba. Dude, coming in next Ooh. is the Chain Chomp. He is such a formidable opponent in Mario Kart, almost impossible to avoid sometimes. It, truly the biggest enemy in block, roadblock you're going to face. And, you know, this team, you, one of the criticisms you may have of this Mount Rushmore so far is the lack of size. And Chain Chomp is beefy. He's going to give us that size that this team was lacking. And let's not forget... Chain Chomp is wielded by the true GOAT. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi have the capability of wielding this Chain Chomp, all right? And when you are being wielded by two of the greats, that's special. And that's what Chain Chomp is. He's special out there. And, and the last thing that I'm going to show you all right here, this clip, it's really all Don't you need to know to about Chain Chomp. Dude, we're going we to fast forward here for you right 
Oh, dude, I recognize this video, dude, bro. Is, it, is that your voice, maybe? Is this it, is my voice, see, This dude. is you. I'm using your. Uh, I'm using yourself against you. This is you're using, you're you're using my own seven. words against exactly, me. Exactly, dude. Let's let, let's listen in. And spot is the chain chomp, which is oh my goodness, the dude. Ultimate Jesus take the wheel. The ultimate. Dude, it is. I mean, it really on. is. Just look at it. Surrendering all control to the mercy of the chain chomp. Dude, what is that? As he drags you up into first place. Look at place. this. Look it's a this. good, good time. And the only look at this. Get those cataquacks out of there. He's out the cataquacks. Get them out. Brainless he is. I mean, look at this. He is running ahead full speed, and he drops you off at the most inconvenient places. That you look, dude. Okay, I yeah, did say it, some negative it, things it, about you know, we're gonna though. we're gonna cut that video off <laughs> right there. <laughs> you know, Chain Chomp. He, did look, say some negative he's, things about Chain Chomp. He's got his mind of his own, all right. He will drop you off wherever you want, but the point is, he is going to take you to the finish line, and, 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 and you know, he will take out anybody in his path. So that is my Mount Rushmore: Goomba, Monty nice. Mole, Toadsworth, Theodore Roosevelt himself. And chain chomp. Up That's next, electric. Up next, we're going for Hayden's Mount Rushmore. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure and honor to bring you my greatest supporting characters in all of Mario and give you my Mount Rushmore. All right. So my first member of the great. <laughs> if you know, if you guys can't see that spelling right there, G R A T E S. That's not. It's not great. You see, you see what I did there? But, dude, wait, wait for it. First member of the greats? <laughs> dude, look at you with the puns already. That's killer. That's, ki uh, that's killer. That's killer. No, dude, I meant greats. First member of the greats, and I got a preference, preface. He's quite non-confrontational, so please try not to spook him. He doesn't like to come out very often, but when he does, people are sure to take note. He doesn't even like to show his face because he is a dot, dot, dot. A boo? shy uh, guy dude he's a shy guy but like in this picture over to the right here he seems very gregarious he seems very outgoing he's got his cowboy hat on he's got his indiana jones get up he's got his blue jeans and he's got his flip-flops dude the whole the full setup you got so you got, why you got a cowboy shy guy dude that's impressive i know dude rare footage bro so you might ask yourself, why do we like Shy Guy? Why does he make it on the Mount Rushmore? Well, we like him. he is the only character who says how he feels in his name. Um, so his name is Shy Guy, and he is a shy guy. It's a literal adjective um, in the name. And there's a level of vulnerability with that. He's being honest with himself and with the rest of the Mario fan base, and he's being upfront with that. A lot of people don't like to admit that they're shy. Um, you know, they're a little bit ashamed of it, but he's up front and he's willing to admit it. He's a big Friday the 13th fan. Um, he's got that hockey mask on, you know, he's ready to go. In the title slide, he is wearing a cowboy hat. So like the previous slide, he was wearing a cowboy hat, which shows his taste for fashion. And he can indeed hit dingers, which this oh, clip will show guy. right here. So here we got a streamer playing a shot guy. Oh, here we go. Stop, 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 stop. Look at his face. Stop going. He said, is that gone? Oh, one, a solo home run by Shy Guy. It's one nothing. One nothing. Diddy Kong, what was you doing, what my guy? Doing, dude, what was Diddy Kong? Dude, that's a meatball. Come on. Monty Bull's hitting the dinger there. And you see this little trot here? You see this little trot, dude? dude? One nothing game, but I can't cheese it because... Dude, he's got a nice little pep in his I will really admit it. But, like, dude, that's a, that's that's a meatball. What... That's That was a meatball. All right? Absolute, absolute meatball. I'm, I didn't say he's good at hitting dinger. <laughs> I said he is capable of hitting dinner. Okay, okay. And for a, okay. for a supporting character in Mario, you know, there's something to write home about. What you got, um, guy? So my second greatest non-greatest character is dot 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 the thwomp. Yeah, that's a, that's and we a got a little thing. picture of the thwomp here, it's which is good. He's angry. He's, uh, you know, he's not very happy to be here, but he's here nonetheless. And I'm going to go into why we love the thwomp. Um, he's always on go mode. Uh, he never stops thwomping ever. Even in, you know, you look at Bowser Castle, dude. He's thwomping away, dude. He's pounding away. And he never stops, dude. He's always on go mode. He's got a domineering presence. Look at this face. Look at these eyeballs. Look at this set of teeth, dude. Like, this is going to be in my nightmares. Um, but on the flip side, he's also a cool dude, dude. Would I go get a brewski with him? Yes. Yes, I would, dude. 
And and in the background, we got one hour of silence, occasionally broken up by Mario 64 Thwomp sound effects. Um, just to sort of like season in, um, just kind of like why I love Thwomp so much is because you hear that grunting in the background every like 12 seconds. Um, and it's it's nice, dude. It adds nice ambiance to the space. I love Thwomp. <laughs> there it is. I was there wondering is, where the rest of the noises were. But dude. Yeah, it's mostly... Mostly silence. It's mostly silence, but the the thwomp is sprinkled in. Dude, I, that the thwomp noise. Pers- I will say that thwomp noise. It it's it's nice, but I don't it's know nice. if it beats out Toadsworth's grunts. All right, uh-huh. I'm just I'm no, just saying. I mean, you're right. It's a little bit one note, dude. But I, at least you know what you're getting. There's some consistency with the grunting. It's the same thing every time. Um, you know, it, it, a little bit of a one dimensional character, but I think that is why I like him so much, dude. Okay. The third person I chose for this list was Papa Crank. Is there an image of Papa Crank? Oh my goodness. Dude, yeah, that's a little jarring. Dude, that is a real 3D rendered image from the Nintendo 64 games. Um, Kind of terrifying. I'm going to bring in this guy just to cover him up. That's the real Papa Crank right there i i brought in the jarring image to to shock the viewers into paying attention and then i'm going to slide the cartoon friendly papa crank over him the smart play honestly you make sure the viewers haven't you know lost lost focus yet correct yeah And, and so we got cranky kong um why do i love cranky kong He's funny as hell, dude. He's so funny, dude. He, I feel like he's always saying funny stuff. He's got that grandpa wisdom, uh, like Toadsworth, but it's a little bit more senile. It's a little bit more <laughs> off the cuff. Um, he's not too keen on holograms, and he might have one of the best singing voices I've heard in a long time. And those last two bullet points will make more sense in just one moment when I play this little clip for you. And Ryan, dude, I think you're going to like this one. So you see, Cranky, it's all set up. All you gotta do is push the rocket delivery button. I'm just a hologram. <laughs> that makes two of us. <gasps> Using the pistol. Did he push the big red button? He can't. Are you ready for this, dude? I'm ready. You can be here, you can be there, anywhere. You can go any place you wanna go, don't you know? <laughs> He's supposed to be cranky. What is this? He... I have beef. I have beef. It's like a telegram. You can send it anywhere. But you never go nowhere. You gotta... All right, so there's a little taste for you um, of Cranky Kong's singing potential. He's not too keen on holograms, but there you have it, dude. I, so. I have beef. First of all, the second member of your Mount Rushmore with an adjective in their name... What are we doing? Doubling up. We're doubling that's, down. That's du- true. Actually, we're, we're doubling. But, but we're doubling okay. down on the adjectives as well as he didn't seem too cranky to me. He seemed like he was singing. He was having a good time. Seemed like you it's know, a, it's he, a rare, that's a rare version of cranky, dude. Okay. That's a rare version of cranky. Okay. That's hologram ca- cranky, dude. Okay. Like he's liberated from his physical form. I, I mean, at that, that point, fair enough. Yeah, I just had to give my thoughts, but you, you can. Yeah, dude, I mean, I mean, valid thoughts, dude. I did. I didn't even realize that I doubled down on the adjectives, dude. Uh, but hey, you yeah, move we're, on, we're, dude. Who are you quoting out? With? So you see, Craig, we're moving on. Set- ne- we're moving on to the next one. Last. last but not least, oh my goodness, who's it gonna be? Paul Lili. Mm, Paul Lili. So we got Paul Lili in here. Um, included below are all three phases of Pauline, including her final evolution. Um, which is, is I just kind of like a, I wanted to map it out for you. So a, as you see here, we got the 50 HP, you know, small kind of like 3d rendered Nintendo 64 version. She's got the fancy dress on, she's got the earrings, um, you know, but still not very powerful. Next, we got the 80 HP. She's plastic. I think in this one, she's holding the hat in hand. Um, very, very lethal there. Uh, and last but not least, we got the 130 HP. She is got the hat on her head, so there, you know, she powered up fully, and she's a little bit taller here, which makes her more powerful. Um, so is it the height that is is you know makes the HP go up? Because I, those are that's the correlation that I'm seeing. 
it's it, it, it's or is not it the amount of the pixels? Height, but does it have to do with it, the amount of pixels? It has to do with the okay. pixels. It has to do with the pixels. I mean, the, all of the things that you're mentioning that immediately come to your mind are taken into account when oh, considering wow. your HP. Gotcha. Um, the pixels, the the um, the shading, um, the facial structure. You know, I okay. would say that the 80 HP is honestly a downgrade. <laughs> but we're I gonna mean, move right along. Why we like Pauline? I personally have a crush on her. She has a nice vibe in Super Mario Odyssey, dude. She has a nice vibe, dude. Good Hold addition. On. I agree. She's I'll got, agree with she's that. got a nice vocal range. Um and she's the best female addition since Super Mario Galaxy since what's her face. And I stand by that. Wow. See, here's the thing. That's that in and of itself, not a bad take. The issue with it, you're gonna lose a lot of Rosalina fans out there by that disrespect. I'm just saying. I disrespect on Rosaline all day. Dude. Yeah, you compared did. to Pauline, my Pauline, my queen, dude. See, that's all I'm saying. There's a lot of Rosalina. Pauline, my queen. A lot of Rosalina close. stands out there that are not too happy that's, with this pitch. That's that's true, but dude, I'm gonna win him over with this next bullet point. Okay, let's see it. Look at this picture of her in Super Mario Strikers art. Is this like a custom? Uh... I don't. I just found it on the internet. That would I be, thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty cool. It'd be a dope playable character, I will say. So as you can see, we got our, <laughs> we got our Mount Rushmore, um, shy guy with the face unveiling for the first time ever. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's kind of horrifying. To that be honest. is. Honestly, I kind of, I regret. I instantly regret putting <laughs> that. that on this. I don't know if we needed to see that. Oh my gosh, dude! And next we got Pauline, dude. You know, always, always kind of flaunting her stuff there. We got the Thwomp. And I couldn't find a good image of Cranky Kong. Is that Kong's DK? Face. Is that Donkey Kong? So That's the... <laughs> I just slapped DK up there, dude. But, you know, okay. well... guys, let us know who you think won. Um, I think I had a pretty solid lineup, dude. I think I made some pretty solid points. Uh, the Cranky Kong video, I think I, I added some style points in there, too. I think Ryan did make some good points, dude. But, dude, both, both Mount Rushmore's know. are certainly good, but comment down below. Well, we're going to have two comments down below saying you got to heart that comment if heart the comment if you think Ryan won. It'll say, you know, did Ryan win? Heart it. And then there will be a comment saying Hayden won. You got to heart that if you're voting for Hayden's or Mount Rushmore. Also, comment down below why you think whoever you voted for won. And also, comment down below... What type of video do you want us to take on next? How should we face off against each other in this type of battle next time? Comment down below. It, it, closing thoughts, not to not to leave the vi the viewers with one last impression here, but like Thwomp is no Theodore Roosevelt. That's all I'm gonna say. And you got an imposter on that. Is that Abe Lincoln over there that you're you're impersonating with the Cranky Kong? That's it. Any any last thoughts from you before we get out of here? I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. See you then.